Hello everyone, welcome back to 3 Deviations. In today's video, we want to keep talking about parametric curves and we want to talk about derivatives of parametric curves. So um, this might seem like a bit of a funky idea. We've just talked about curves that have um, that are defined by two equations, um, an x of t and a y of t, um, and each of these are functions. And we don't really know how to deal with these as um, derivatives. Well, um, we're actually going to see that it's not super challenging. It's just an application of the chain rule that we will use um, in order to um, look at this. Now, um, I'm just going to preface this video by discussing that usually in um, maybe AP Calculus BC, um, this will um, this this study of derivatives of parametric curves will be accompanied by um, the uh, vector functions for uh, position, acceleration, and velocity. Um, we're going to push that off until um, our second unit of multivariable calculus. Um, but uh, if you're looking for that, just head over there um, and check out the second unit once that's up. All right, anyways, let's talk about the derivatives of the parametric curves. We're talking about this in a mathematical sense. All right, so definition. Um, we can define the derivative um, with respect to x. So um, we want to find... Um, we, 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 we have curves that are defined parametrically, so maybe this is a parametric curve. And um, we want to find a derivative, but we need to keep in mind that we are still in the xy plane. So this is the x-axis, this is the y-axis. And t controls how fast this moves around. Um, so we actually want, what we want to find is a relationship between x and y, and we don't want t in the picture at all. We're only interested in the shape of this curve, not how fast it's being drawn. So actually, in order to find the derivative, so if we want to find the derivative in y with respect to the derivative in x, we need to find the derivative of two parts. So we need to use the chain rule. We need to use the derivative of um, dy dt, over dx dt. And that is how we find the derivative of a parametric equation. And I will usually abbreviate this by writing um, y dot over x dot. In physics, it's common mathematical notation to um, write your derivative with respect to time with a dot on top. Sometimes they use prime. I like to use dot. Of course, this convention follows if you're taking the second derivative with respect to time, you do an umlaut. Um, or a double dot if you're not German, I suppose. All right, anyways, so that's the first derivative. Now the second derivative, we need to be a little bit more careful. The expression for the second derivative is a little bit more complicated if we want to take it with respect to x. So um, for any importance graphically, we get um, the time derivative of um, the original here, dy dx, um, over dx dt. So we can write this more succinctly, d by dt of y dot over x dot over dx dt. That might make it a little bit more clear. All right, now this is really an easy thing. So what we're gonna be doing is just rehashing stuff that we did in like units, um, units three and units four, or unit two and unit three. We already, like, we already know how to do differentiation rules. We already know how to find points of inflection and concavity. So I'm gonna assume that you already know that. We don't need to recover it. We're just applying it to a different scenario. So in these cases, and you'll see this a lot in math, but um, when you cover a new topic, um, we, we, we usually won't be going to super complicated functions for you to remember how to differentiate or integrate. Like the functions that I want you to apply here are very easy, like maybe x squared. We know that goes to 2x. Um, but um, it's just applying this in this new setting that we need to be... Um, wary of. Um, I, I know that you all know how to differentiate the craziest of functions. But um, yeah, we're, we're just going to be applying new things. We don't need to waste our time going over the old stuff. Anyway, so let's cover an example. So um, I want us to find where there are horizontal and vertical tangent lines to this equation. So um, the equation is x of t equals t squared and y of t equals t cubed minus 3t. Okay, so I'm seeing tangent lines in the discussion. So what we need to do is we need to find our um, derivatives of x of t and y of t in order to calculate our derivative dy dx. So um, that's easy use of power rule and some rule, difference rule, what have you. We get x prime of t is equal to 2t and y prime of t is equal to 3t squared minus 3. 
Okay, so now we can plug this directly into our formula for dy dx. So dy dx is equal to x prime over y... Uh, confused myself there. dy dx is equal to y prime over x prime. Um, so we get dy dx is equal to 3t squared minus 3 over 2t. Right, now how do we find the horizontal and vertical tangent lines? Well, so if we have a vertical tangent line, that means that our slope is undefined. If we have a, vert a horizontal tangent line, that means that our slope is zero. So what makes this undefined? That's when this is equal to zero. And what makes this zero? That's when this is equal to zero. So in order to find where we have horizontal tangent lines, we need to make the numerator of this dy dx expression equal to zero. We get 3t squared minus 3 equals zero. We can solve um, for this, and we get t is equal to plus or minus 1. So we know that whenever t is equal to plus or minus 1, t equals 1 and t equals minus 1, um, we have a horizontal tangent line. Now, um, we also have a vertical tangent line, um, and so to do this, we set the denominator equal to zero to give us an undefined slope value. So um, when we solve for this, we get that t equals zero. So um, just to look at this graphically, it didn't ask us to graph this explicitly, but we can use the techniques that we used in the last video to, to graph these little friends. Um, and what we will end up getting is something that looks kind of, kind of pretty. Um, so we get something like this. Um, and then we'll start at zero. And we also have a zero at three. I haven't mentioned that, but um, you can probably solve that on your own. We're just doing the derivative, but I want to show you what the graph looks like. So at t equals zero, we're going out like this. We've got a horizontal tangent line at, x, at t equals negative one. Then up here, we go up and we go way out into infinity. And then we have symmetry, we keep on going, and then it goes like that. We have a vertical tangent line right here, we have a horizontal tangent line right there, and another one right there. Kind of looks like a little goldfish there. We can put a little smiley face on the graph. All right, anyways, in the next video, we're going to be moving on to integrals. Integrals are a bit of a different story, um, uh, not, not as easy as these derivatives, but anyways... Um, now that you know this formula, formula for first derivative, formula for second derivative, you guys should be able to do everything you need to with these parametric equations and derivatives. Again, if you're looking for anything on um, the uh, vector-valued functions, um, please check out our videos in multivariable calculus um, for any insights onto the speed vector, velocity vector, acceleration vector, what have you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.